I just had to stop the car I'm en route back from Henley and it was the most amazing regatta I can't contain my excitement thrills spills controversy speed great amazing verdicts that you would never expect what a brilliant format it should be like that in the Olympics perhaps you know, the most amazing thing for me to happen today was Hannah Sobrano, the Belgian sculler, beating Mahe Drysdale at the world champion. It was a sensational race, a privilege to watch. Amazing to be able to commentate on together with Greg Searle. To me, that made the whole regatta worthwhile, just that one race. But then there was that extremely controversial disqualification after a fantastic performance by the Nearhouse crew, seemingly to beat Leander by a narrow ver verdict at the finish. And then a two-hour wait before Nearhouse were disqualified. Very controversially, I didn't agree with the verdict. I'll say so in a minute, but I'm very glad I wasn't one of the people who had to make it. It's an extremely tough decision. There were no smiles on the faces of either the stewards or Leander Club or Nearhouse. I don't think anybody won out of that one. And then the Thames Cow Race in the visitors. Oh, my God. You know, the cow crew hit the booms. There's that amazing film that James Padmore took. See it on YouTube. Heartbreak, just three strokes before the line. It was worse than when the Aussie caught the crab in the fours at the International Regatta at Lucerne. The uh, the Californians hit the booms with the race in their pockets. They stopped. Thames went through to win. And they were inconsolable afterwards. Scott France and their coach, I thought it was great that he fronted up to the BT Sport interview with Laura Fell, but the guys, they were sobbing, literally sobbing, you know, 30 minutes after the verdict of the race. The, the stroke guy who was steering, inconsolable. And the Thames guys, they were sobbing too. Ben Lewis, the Thames coach, was just so proud. He's never give up, never, ever give up. He told them they were the most complete crew on the circuit and that was a club crew the first time a proper inverted commas club crew has ever won the visitors event not a great way to win but you know they put them under pressure and the californian crew cracked under pressure so thames won those are just three of the races i could mention fantastic race from edinburgh rowing through newcastle in the prince albert last race of the day the British women's quad uh, victory against uh, a very strong Polish under-23 world champions in that event. Th there were fantastic performances, but let's take a look at that uh, DQ verdict. Well, what can you say? The Nearhouse crew in the Henley communique were disqualified for unsportsmanlike behaviour. If I've got it right, I understand that's because their coach, Diedrich Simon, sitting behind the umpire in the launch, was gesturing to the crew to move over. I think as far as Henley saw it, and this is guesswork, that uh, they saw it that perhaps the Nearhouse crew were maybe not obeying the umpire Boris Runcom's instructions, but actually waiting for their coach to gesture. And as far as Henley are concerned, you can't have athletes obeying the coach and, and not the umpire. And uh, OK, so I can see the point of view of Henley. I don't see it like that. I genuinely think in the heat of the moment, the Cox didn't hear Boris Rankov's instructions, certainly the Sydney coach said. I think probably there might be a genuine difficulty of Cox's hearing what the umpire is saying. Certainly that was the claim for the Sydney Cox. OK, so they should be looking and they should be on their station. I don't think they're interfering. And certainly it's a bit like football where all of a sudden, you know, referees are suddenly giving penalties and that for holding... Uh, in, in you know corners which seems to be almost universal I think what happens in that game or, or, or certainly rugby you have a meeting with the referees and the players are left in no doubt as the rule change I certainly remember stewards races I can't remember which year now but Martin Sauer the German Cox was all over Field and Hill the British Cox in the ground the Germans won that race Fred Smallbone was the umpire it's been part of the the, the, the sort of I don't know, the folklore of Rowan at Henley, that, you know, you send down a few puddles on your opposition. OK, don't make it that obvious, but it's part of the give and take of, of racing. And uh, it seems to me Henley are much more strict about non-interference now. And clearly, I mean, the message will be clear after those disqualifications. How clear it was to Cruz before the regatta, I don't know. Maybe there was something said and I've missed out on that. To me, though, I think Diedrich Simon was probably trying to help the umpire I know him, he's a top man, and I, I wouldn't say that that was unsportsmanlike conduct from my perspective. 
very tough call to make and you know my heart goes out as well as to Nearhouse crew and the Leander boys Matt Beach's crew also to the stewards because there were no smiling faces from them it was a very tough decision but I'd like to end with with just you know I, I felt so privileged to watch that Diamond Scales race to talk to Hannah to Brian Hall afterwards I, I missed half the interview because I, I got a call and, and the phone blanked off but he did say that uh, it was a marvellous experience for him and uh, it was a thrill to talk to somebody who who, who won that race so convincingly and so unexpectedly. But, but finally, what a privilege to talk to Mahe Drysdale afterwards. He is an absolute gentleman. He showed true humility, true sportsmanship. You know, he came here, he's been training throughout for the Olympic Games. He made no excuses about the verdict. He is a true Olympian, a true sportsman. And, you know, it's guys like that that really make you want to get out of bed in the morning and go and do your sport, aspire to be someone like Mahe. And I would be surprised if he doesn't win the Olympic title in Rio. And this wasn't part of his road to Rio, but it was an unforgettable Henley Regatta. Hope you enjoyed it.